Greetings from the grave, Killer King of Crystal Lake, Zero Voorhees, the Gore Father. Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers, the Mad Hatter of Splatter, and you're watching Horror from the Grave. You got, Psychopath TV. You got questions? We got, we got answers. answers. There you go. Now, I'm going to paraphrase. This one is from Old Mesh, and he asked us a question or a topic to bring up to discuss and everything, and it was, what would you think of new horror movies that were shot with old school equipment, kind of like how musicians will use older instruments Gibson's to get yeah, like to get that vintage sound. How would we feel about a new horror movie but shot with vintage equipment? I think that would be badass. I think even if the script... that would bring the feel back. Even if the script was weak, the setting and the scenery would make up for it. Yeah. Even if it was something... It couldn't be totally weak. Yeah. You, you know, even gotta if have, it, you got to have some leg to stand on. Yeah, but if it lagged a little bit, it'd be like, oh, fuck, man. It was kind of... It lagged, but the scenery and stuff was so yeah, badass. Yeah, you know, no. you could at least say that, and that's a plus compared to a lot of the crap that comes out now. I would... Yeah. So I'd say it'd be an awesome idea. And yeah. I hope people look into it, because I know like I Like if Hatchet 2 or the new Laid to Rest or something was... Filmed on some old school shit. Yeah. It'd be good. That was, well, the Hills Run Red was kind of old school looking. Yeah. So and, that and, was cool. And a few of the Rob Zombies were uh, old looking. Yeah, Devil's Rejects. House of a Thousand were definitely shot with an older feel to it. So I think it's been done, and I think it's been done well, and it uh, people should continue on that instead of going with the 3D, 3D route. They should, they should go with the old vintage yeah, route. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? And those old school horror movies had that old school feel. They just made it creepier because, you know, it was it just looked grainier and Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it looked more real. Yeah, it did. It looked way more real. It. Okay, so we got another question from the MOD Ministry of Darkness <coughs> eighty five. And here we go. If you could get into their office, what would you do? If we could get into Platinum Dunes office, what would we do? Hmm. Well, I'd set it on fire, but that's too easy, so I'd have to back up and think about it. I think I'd go the snakes on a plane route. And do what? Just load that place up with poisonous snakes. And let them get stung to death just by let, their own kind? Yeah, just let yeah, just let whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Put a rattlesnake in the file cabinet. So when they open it, <laughs> put a put a put a king cobra in the toilet, you know. Holy shit! Just random, yeah. Bite my fucking balls. Well, yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah. I think if if I were to get in there, that's what I do. Yeah, but but that ain't enough. They they, they, they butchered well, what, so many classes. I know that's that why ain't enough. I put the snakes in, and you. I don't know. That's it. I don't think. I don't think anything we could do. I'd is, pee in their coffee filters. Straight up. Yeah. I don't think there's anything we could do. It could be as bad as what they've already done to the horror community. I don't know what I would do. Yeah. Ooh, I would break. I would break into their computer, tap into their fucking bank accounts, drain all their accounts, start <laughs> up my own fucking company called Platinum Goons. For real, it'll just be a bunch of Italians that work there. We'll make really good horror movies instead. That'd be nice. good. Nice. There you go. Eat pizza and linguine and shit all day. <laughs> making horror movies, baby. Slinging noodles and making horror. <laughs> Picks, horror flicks. Hell yeah. AB Spike, 70 grand one. Our horror hound has brought up six more questions. And this dude always goes into detail. Look at that. Yes, he does. He goes, he gets <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. Since this scene was not shown in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, would you like to see the after the scene where Nurse Daniels was helping Lori back to the room and after she gets called to the ER room, then Lori... Starts to look for her and gets some medicine as Nurse Daniels walks out of the ER room traumatized with a slash on her lips, bleeding, then shown that Michael was in the operating room. Would you like to have seen that? Yes. Yes. Even though it was done before in Halloween 6, it would be good to see again. Yes, because he fucked shit up if you remember that in Halloween 6. Yeah. What was your opinion of Vera Jordanova's performance as the mysterious Axel... In Hostel 2. Me still personally, I own the movie, but I still haven't watched it. Me neither. I've seen pieces of it, but nothing to comment on. What's your opinion on Scream 4? Very excited. Me very, too. very, very, yeah. very excited. I'm down for that. I'm down to see that. Only thing that would make me happier is a real, 
real, not the bullshit one that came out, but a real I Know What You Did Last Summer sequel. So not that uh, well, I'll did, Always like, Know. Yeah, wasn't that like a prequel or some shit? No, nah, it, it was one without Jennifer Love and a bunch of oh. nonsense. I haven't even watched it, to tell you the truth, because this doesn't look good. Mm-hmm. But if they did another one of those, that's the only thing that would make me happier than the Scream 4. I'd you? still be more. I'd still be more into the Scream Four, but it'd be cool to see a, a know what you did last summer come, mm-hmm. up. Can't but it comes back trip. all you know comes back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if Jamie Lee Curtis would have been in Halloween Resurrection longer, what do you think would have really happened? Michael still would have got the job done because he uh, spares no lives. He would have found that he would he, eventually the end result would have been Jamie Lee Laurie Strode getting butchered to death because it needed to happen. Yeah, it did eventually. So even if she would have stay, stayed in longer, like maybe she tries to bust into the house and save everyone from Michael, and uh, he wouldn't be having any of that. Mm-hmm. And there you go. He would have probably fucked her up the way that uh, the new Loomis got fucked up in H2. He would have, like, fucking, like, really did it in to make sure it was done. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I killed you on the roof. <laughs> I thought I killed your ass on the roof. Would you have liked to have seen what really happened to Danielle Harris's final encounter with Michael in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2? Um, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about this, so yeah, I mean, kind of yes and no because... In that director's cut, when it shows her as a little girl, when Brackett's thinking about yeah. back, is up, oh, it's kind of sad, man. It is, it is. Because I would never want to experience what it'd be like to be a parent that loses my kid. You're not supposed to bury your kids. That's a, that's like I don't even want to think about that myself. But and you got to admit that that impact has never been done in a horror movie before, and I just don't understand why people are bashing them for it. God damn it! People are dumb. That's why. That is. That's never. Every you've always been so detached from the victims. In all the other horror movies. And then when this happens in H2 and you start seeing it from the father's eyes. I mean, not the dude who tried to whack Loomis because Linda, you know, died or anything like that. You can appreciate and understand his rage. But to actually see the emotions that Brackett went through and everything like that. Man, I gotta be honest, that shit, that, that touched. It did me too. I, I teared up a bit. That, uh, I must say it, I'll say it right me. now. Yeah. It was kind of, it's kind of sad. It when was. I made my old lady watch it. had it. an impact. For the first time, yeah, she cried. I cried. See? Because it's pretty sad. It's called vision, people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, fashion, and, and you know what Rob said? He said my unrated version is going to be way too powerful for people. And apparently it was. There you go. Since Texas Frightmare Weekend 09 and Camp Blood Friday the 30th horror conventions are coming up, who would you like to meet from both conventions? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm only going to one of them. I'm going to both. So, mine's going to be all the Jasons. Mine is... And Shelly. <laughs> Mine is uh, John Carpenter, first and foremost. I could meet him and not even go to the rest of the convention. I don't even care. There you go. I really don't. Oh, and I want to get in Christine and take a picture because Christine's going to be there. We're not talking some porn chick. We're talking the car, the automobile. Automobile. Uh-huh. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to meet Christine and I want to meet John Carpenter. And then at the other convention, I want to meet... Um. Corey Feldman. Hopefully he goes. And the real Mad Hatter of Splatter, Tom motherfucking Savini. You can have yes. all the Jasons, but I'll take Tom Savini. I'll go do... What are you... Because it wasn't for what Tom... are we dividing this up for dates? If it wasn't for you Tom... You can take all the Jasons to Burger King. I'm taking Savini to fucking Whataburger. That's how we're going to do it. <laughs> That's how we're going to roll. <laughs> me and old right. Savini. He's going to give me bodybuilding tips. <laughs> <laughs> And on that lovely note, we'll be back. We got a little more questions. And And a uh, lot more answers.